What does five years of lifting progress look like? Let's say $15 an hour. Let's say we worked out for two hours, four times a week. We're expecting at the very least $120 worth of muscle every week. $480 a month, $5,760 a year, $28,800 of muscle in five years. That's a down payment on a house. That's several cars if you're mud man, like geez dude, almost 30 grand? What does 30 grand of muscle look like? I don't know. My favorite thing is seeing steroid transformations before and afters one year on trend. And there's people in the comment section like, oh, you could have got that naturally in six months actually. But really, maybe $700 worth of muscle is like super duper good. So like 30,000 must be like crazy. But you can't get out of the house without breaking the door frame. I really am a spineless, weak dirtbag. I'll read or hear a slightly negative comment about me, and I'll sit there and rue the day. One comment that makes me sad is the, you've been lifting for five years and you still look like you don't lift. That right there is super mean. If someone's thinking about saying that to me, then I would ask you to stop. My initial response in my head is, I don't lift weights to look jacked, I lift weights because I like it. I said this to friends before, I got responses like, oh okay, so you're not actually serious about lifting, you just like it, okay. But for real, if you were actually serious, you would actually be jacked literally, uh, figuratively, and hypothetically. That's kind of the only weird feedback I get from that comment. Other than that, the sentiment just sounds lame, sounds like a fake purist, sounds very virtue signally esque really lame, you know? Lifting for looks is weird. When we think of lifting, I think we all think of a bicep curl. Big arms, you must lift. Bicep peak, you must lift. What we also think of when we think of lifting weights is health. I want to get in better health. I better start lifting weights. Then they do bench press and bicep curl twice a week for quote unquote health. The health thing is an accountability thing. If we told people we were lifting to look jacked and months and years passed and we still look the same, we'd be sad. But if we say we lifted for health, well look at you, so bold, so brave, so humble. Nothing like those strength coppers, pump chasers, those juice heads. Plus I think lifting for health looks a lot more like rehab, prehab, a lot of specific mobility work. But sure, I guess lateral raises and chest flies are also for health too, right? <clears throat> Telling ourselves I'm lifting for health is so self-limiting, I think, in my opinion. I've been lifting for a while and I don't look like I lift and that's fine. Weightlifting is a spectrum. There are people that are just going to suck. I was listening to some strength and conditioning coaches and they said if you don't snatch 100 kilograms in your first two years, you'll probably never amount to much. That made me sad but oh well. I look like I don't lift. Okay, how do I fix that? Make hypertrophy training my main focus? No. My training circled around getting a bigger squat. Should I cut calories and get to a low body weight? No. As of right now, I'm around 175, 180 pounds at 5 foot 6. Yes, that's pretty heavy for a guy my height. Sitting at this weight is fine for me. I don't have to undereat to stay here. I don't have to overeat to stay here. I eat whatever I want here. It astonishes me how people can't comprehend that people lift weights because they like lifting weights. They all rush to the same conclusion that we all want to be big muscular men. People will see me snatching and think, wow, look at that agate's small arms and crack conditioning. You've been lifting for five years and you still look like you don't lift. People are underwhelmed by me. They want to write me off. They want to believe I don't know what I'm doing. 
because if I did, I'm sitting here getting these mediocre results. Well, that's just depressing. 30 grand of muscle is 14 inch biceps. 30 grand of muscle is poverty lifts, small calves, juggle tattoos, bitch tits. Really? Is that it? Lifting weights looks like such an ordeal to a non lifter and they're sitting there thinking it's not worth it since I don't look like I lift. They want a way out. They want an excuse as if someone was initially forcing them to lift weights. It's like how I think of college. I see people working entry level jobs with degrees and I think, yeah, what now college boy? What all them books do you for? Okay, fine, he's not a millionaire, but he probably got something out of it and he's not going to flag everyone down that makes this crap statement at him and over explain himself like I'm doing now. Then there's the boomer logic of college. You, you, you should go to college because you need to be so safe. I will go to college, but I'm too old. If I were in your true sapatos, I would go to college and I become a success. Same with lifting. Wow, you've been lifting for five years and still no results. I will go lift weights, but I'm too old, too busy, too whatever. If I were in your shoes, I would go to the gym and become a success. Our brains have been wired to think that doing a little lifting a little bit every other day will give us a lot of results. Five minute abs, the Bullflex commercials where they say 20 minutes, three times a week, several transformation, several week transformations, all those diet pills showcasing abs that got produced in a few weeks allegedly. If that's all what we know, then heck yeah, we're going to get super disappointed by nobody lifting weights and looking like garbage. But oh well. People think muscles and being strong are cool and valuable. Everyone has the opportunity to produce it, and then nobody wants to take it. And I really hate you for that.